everybody, so this is going to be another empties video. I have my bin here of items that I've used up and I'm going to share with you guys whether or not I like them and if I'd repurchase them. I'm actually kind of sad because I filmed an empties about a month ago or so. Um, I filmed it and then I put everything in the recycling and then I went to edit it and I realized I didn't hit record for like a good chunk of the video. So I didn't even have a video and I'd already put everything in the recycling so it was so sad because I threw out a lot of cool products ones that I, I really liked but I started saving again and I've got a number of things so I thought I'd share with you guys what I've collected so far. Alright I decided I'm going to start with makeup products this time around. I finished off two different foundations and I actually finished them off like within two weeks of each other which is really quite strange. They're the same foundation it's the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 foundation. Two different colors however. I have 925 which is buff beige and this is um, the color that I can wear most of the year when I'm pale and don't have a tan and then the color 842 which is medium beige which is what I wear in the summertime when I have more of a tan so so look like there they still look like they have product in the bottom but nothing will pump out and I've tried to even like unscrew it and scrape it I don't know it's rather deceiving it looks like there's some in the bottom but I really can't get anything else out of it so that kind of sucks I've already gone ahead and actually purchased both colors because it was in that awkward time of year where um, the lighter one still kind of works for me but I'm getting more into out being outside and getting a tan and also I'm starting to do some self tanning so my complexion is getting darker so I went ahead and bought both. If you can't already tell I do love this foundation. I think it's awesome for a drugstore price. It doesn't make me oily. It stays a long time. It looks quite natural. Blends really easy and it's like I said affordable. So one of my favorite drugstore foundations and that's the first product. The other two makeup products I got I went through are mascaras. Um, the first one I've had for far too long. Embarrassing to tell you how long I've had it. Uh, it's the CoverGirl Clump Crusher Water Resistant. I want to say I've had this for like nine months ish. Um, this is what it looks like here. And the reason I held on to it so long is because I love the wand. This is what the wand looks like. It's a rubber bristle brush. It's got a slight curve to it. But like the name says, it really does clump or crush clumps in mascara. So I held on to this because if I was trying out a new mascara and it got really clumpy or there's too much mascara on the wand, I could take this wand and it would just sort everything out and make it look a lot better. I also particularly love this for the lower lash line because it didn't put too much um, product on my lower lashes and I just really liked it. So I do need to pick up a new one. I would recommend it. I, do, I wouldn't say it's my favorite mascara in general because it doesn't give a ton of volume or length, but it's just really good at making everything separated and nice looking. So that's that mascara. The other one I use is from Jordana. This is the Best Lash Extreme Volumizing Mascara. I've talked about it a lot. So it looks like there. Um, it's a bristle brush wand, which is one of my favorites. I feel like it does give a lot, wow, this one's stuck together, a lot of length and volume, which I love really inexpensive. It's like $2 at Walgreens in the, in the United States and I've picked up a, a lot of these. I have a lot of backups so I would. I would highly recommend this. It's worth a go especially only for $2 and it works fabulously on my eyelashes. Okay moving on I have a conditioner. I'm almost done the shampoo but not quite so I just have the conditioner in this empties. It's from Trader Joe's. It's the Tea Tree Tingle Conditioner. This is what it looks like. So yes I got it at Trader Joe's. It wasn't very expensive. And I was pleasantly surprised by this. I bought the tea tree line in particular because I wanted it to help invigorate my scalp and promote hair growth. Um, although I feel like the shampoo does more of that job than the conditioner, I was pleasantly surprised by the conditioner because it is very moisturizing. It's not as moisturizing as a hair mask per se, but um, it did really well at moisturizing my hair. It's just an everyday conditioner and it didn't do anything funky to my hair. It was just a solid, good conditioner. So I would repurchase. I like trying out new hair products, so I probably won't repurchase right away, but uh, I was really happy with this. So that's the conditioner. And then another shower product is a body wash. This is from Caress. It's called Passionate Spell. I've heard a lot of people talk about this, and I bought it mainly because I've heard people talk about it, and for the scent, I, sniff I sniffed it when I was in the store. Mm, I think I got it at... Um, Target maybe or Walgreens in the States. I don't I haven't seen these in Canada anyways. Um and it smells so good. It's just like a sweet romantic type scent. Um and yeah, it lathered well, it washed, it didn't 
break out my back, which is good. I think I've mentioned this in a favorites. It didn't break out my back, which a lot of body washes can, so that was a win. I would repurchase. I'd probably try a new scent, but I would repurchase. And then a last, oh no, I have two more shower products. This one I'm so sad that it's empty. It's the Macadamia Natural Oil Deep Repair, I can't talk, Deep Repair Mask. And this is what it looks like. It's a hair mask. It's super popular and for good reason. It works so well. There's a little bit left in the bottom there. It is pricey. I got it on sale, um, but it absolutely works wonders. I can't get away with using it more than once a week because it's a very heavy hair mask, but it makes your hair feel just absolutely amazing and smooth and detangled and silky. It just, it does amazing things. Um, I will repurchase. I'm waiting to find it on sale again because it's pricey on its own, but definitely worth it. Absolutely. And the last shower thing is just a little sample guide. I guess I had it in my backpack. This is the Soft Soap Body Butter Body Butter Coconut Scrub Body Wash. I feel like I liked this more the first time I tried it, but I don't know. I just wasn't a fan of this one. Maybe it's because it was smaller. Maybe it's because I've tried so many body washes now. I don't know. It was nice. It just it's not a super like coconut scent and didn't it didn't do anything special. So I don't know. I like the strawberry one from this line a lot more. So that's that. And then the next thing I have I actually got in some kind of gift basket at a grocery store. We spent a certain amount. We got it in a gift basket and I'm excited. I was excited to try it out. This is the Vaseline Spray and Go Moisturizer in Cocoa Radiant. I was kind of skeptical about these. I was like, why? Really? Why do you need a moisturizer in a spray form? I I don't know, I was kind of skeptical about it, but I actually fell in love with it. It really does, like, you think how much more time does it take to really pump something out of a bottle or scoop it out of a jar and then rub it in as opposed to spraying it on, but those mornings when I have a shower and I just really can't be bothered putting on moisturizer, but I don't want my skin to look kind of dry and ashy, just like spray, 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 like barely even rub it in and it just makes my skin look healthy and it takes two seconds and it dries really, really fast. So now that I'm out of it, I'm kind of actually finding myself missing it. So I think I will go pick up another one. I think there's a couple different brands that do these spray moisturizers now, so maybe I'll try out a new one. If you have any suggestions, let me know. So that's that. And then the last two things are um, like face care. First one I got in an Ipsy bag. It's the Saint Tropez Gradual Tan Anti-Aging Multi-Action Face Moisturizer. It's a long name. That's what it looks like there. I was really excited to try this because like I said I'm getting into self tanning and I have a lot of body products but not really any face ones and I kind of want my face to match my body even when I'm not wearing makeup because makeup can do that but I wanted to try out some self tanners and I was excited to get this in the Ipsy bag because I discovered while using it that it is absolutely not worth the money. For one reason in particular, the moisturizer itself I think is really nice. I love it as a face moisturizer, super hydrating, doesn't leave my face greasy but just very hydrating, very nice moisturizer. But the self tanning properties, I barely saw anything. I'd use it every day and never noticed anything. I didn't even wash it off of my hands or anything. My hands didn't turn even the slightest hint of orange. So I don't know what's up with this face moisturizer because I'm I was pretty um pretty fair when I started using it and it didn't really do anything. So I would definitely try out a different brand. I wouldn't invest in this one. And the last one I got with uh, Sephora Points. It's the Murad Instant Radiance Eye Cream. Little tiny sample jar. Um, this lasted a long time. I think it lasted almost two months because you barely needed any and I loved it. It is such a nice eye cream. It's like a gel kind of silky gel formula. Uh, glides on under your eyes, sinks in really well. You can actually like see it hydrating the little fine lines under there, so it did amazing. One thing I didn't like it for is if you didn't let it sit long enough before doing your makeup, you could it would go like pilly under your eyes. Um, but as like a night eye cream, it was fabulous. I think Mirahead is really pricey, so I don't know if I'd actually go purchase the full size, but I liked it. And if you want to splurge on an eye cream, I would go check this one out. So yeah, I think that's about it for my empties. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you have any questions and thanks so much for watching. Bye!